Hello folks, this is Shaza at Shaza's Urban Homestead and today I just wanted to do a really short video on horseradish which is what I've been dealing with today. So my horseradish grows in that bed over there and as you can see there's a little clump there which I left to grow for next year. Um, that's just you know a basic lasagna style lazy gardening bed with layers of topsoil straw and manure and it grows very happily there and this all of this here is all what I have pulled up from the ground today because I thought I would give it a try at making some prepared horseradish for uh, cooking in food and sauces and stuff so these are various tap roots, I think. They grow, from what I've read, the uh, the tap root of a horseradish actually grows sideways in a totally unpredictable direction. So uh, they don't grow straight down like other tap roots on plants. Um, but what I've also noticed about mine is it has loads of these sort of nodules, which, as you can see, many are sprouting. That's a really big one. But there's also small ones that are attached to the roots and of course the greenery and such <coughs> um, I admit I pulled this all out before I actually looked up how to propagate horseradish <laughs> so I'm glad I left that little plant over there that one can grow into more horseradish next year so it's not a big deal so all of this will I guess go toward um, making the condiment um, it doesn't smell so much, but now, but I'm, I've read that once you've grated it, it activates the compounds inside the root, which turn into mustard oil, and, uh, that's why it's, that's where it gets its pungent smell. So, uh, I've pulled up all this lot, just followed the roots, there's quite a few. And, uh, I just thought I'd show you, but generally, it will grow very well on its own. It needs very little loving. It's, uh, it does spread quite a lot, so it can be an invasive pest. Um, but if you're, you manage it well, it will be easily contained, and you'll have a <clears throat> source of a really tasty condiment for forever, basically. All right. Um, that's all I really had to say, so, um, have a good day. Uh, I will probably have another video coming up soon, and I'll chat with you later. Bye-bye.